I'm Dr. David Hill and today we're going to be talking about fever and vomiting in infants. Now, obviously we're talking about when fever and vomiting go together, but I need to start talking about fever in infants because that can be a sign of a very dangerous disease whether or not there's vomiting. So let's start by saying if your infant is not yet three months of age and there is any fever at all, how do we define fever? Well that would be a rectal temperature greater than 100.4 degrees or greater than 38.0 degrees Celsius. That is a medical emergency. Get your baby seen now whether or not he or she is vomiting. That baby may need to be hospitalized, may need antibiotics, and may need to have a urine, blood, and cerebrospinal fluid checked for possible serious infection. Now let's talk about babies who have fever and vomiting who are greater than three months of age. I still don't like fever in infants in general. We have a very low threshold for checking those babies out because they may have very serious disease. Certainly the most common cause of fever and vomiting in your baby is still going to be a viral illness. But we do get very concerned when you have fever and vomiting that there may be something else going on. Even a kidney infection may present with fever and vomiting, especially if there's not diarrhea. I'm not comfortable saying that the fever and vomiting is just due to a viral illness of the intestines, a gastroenteritis. It could be a sign of meningitis. It could be a sign of a life-threatening kidney infection. So that is still really significant to me. Now, maybe your baby has cold symptoms and a little diarrhea and a little vomiting and they seem perfectly happy and content. They're feeding okay. They're looking okay. Could you watch that baby, especially if he's six months or older, for a few days and see how things go? Well, yeah, probably. A couple of caveats. If that fever is greater than 104 degrees, I still want to see that infant. Why? Not because the fever is going to hurt the baby. A lot of people think, oh no, the fever is going to fry their brain. It won't. It's not going to hurt their brain. But I still want to know what's going on. Is there a pneumonia? Is there a kidney infection? I need to see the baby. Now, at 104 to 105, I've got a day or so to check them out. If it's 5 p.m., yeah, we'll see you in the morning. But if it's over 105, that's more urgent. That says, look at this baby now. Again, not because their brain's going to get fried, but because they may have a really significant illness. Likewise, with the vomiting, if your baby is vomiting more than eight times in a day, if he or she seems to be getting dehydrated, making urine less than three times in 24 hours or less than one time in eight hours, not crying with tears, mouth appears dry, baby is listless and not responding to you, for gosh sake, get that baby seen now. Don't sit around and wait. Turn off the computer and go to the doctor's office. So talking about fever and vomiting in your infant, I'm Dr. David Hill.